Capacity, everybody. Woo! Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah. Murica. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a fan right there. That's my, uh, I paid him to do oh, that. Oh, did you? Checks in the mail, huh? He's doing this. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're so happy to have you guys here to talk to these gorgeous gals. How has today been going for you so far? You've been meeting fans, kissing babies and all that? Oh, yes. I, I split my pants. You did? No yeah, I split my, I split oh, my pants. It's That's a Comic-Con exclusive right there. I split them earlier. I didn't <laughs> split them walking up on here. Or after I saw you. Hey. Yeah. You split their pants. Oh, oh shit. Uh-oh. I'll page you. I'll send you a messenger pigeon. How has the fan reaction been so far? Because I think it's not your first time in the UK. You seem to know your way around a Cadbury cream egg. You were talking oh, about yes, your favorite, favorite UK treats. Well, that, those are my favorite back home in Georgia, but they're so much better here. Chocolate's are. so much better here, you know? Um, yeah. So everyone kind of gives me chocolate when I come to the UK. And yeah, it's lovely. I've done some conventions in, in London before um, and Germany. And Germany. it's my first, in, yeah, woo, Dortmund and stuff. Um, any yeah. Germans in the audience? The Gates, dear. Any Germans? The Gates is always, no? Oh, hey, hello. Oh, we got hello. Thank uh, you. How are all of you doing? Woo! If you're tired, raise your hand. Oh, shoot. Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your shoulders. Touch your knees. Oh, you lost, girl. Oh. You lost. Yeah, I lost too. You lost. Too. Jesus, sorry. Sorry about my friend. It's been you know, a while. I think there's a few people that are tired. It's a long day, but I'll tell you what. We are so thrilled to have some of our favorites come from all over the world just to discuss our love of specific shows. By the way, if you guys are, who's just joining us for the first time for a panel today? Who's a first timer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Monsieur Enthusiasm and this gentleman here, it's their first time and Woo! yours, welcome aboard. Well, we are going to uh, just have a little chat here with me asking a few questions and fangirling. We're gonna have you guys come to the mic towards the end to ask a few questions, but because of the ongoing strikes that are going on, we want to be very careful to not mention any s sort of specific show title. It, you look. can say it rhymes with the schmocking schmed. You can, yeah. That, that eliminates everything. Or, you know, specific scenes I liked or, you know. your character, Shmera. Oh, <laughs> or Nidia. Shidia. Nidia? Midia? Midia. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the letters. Shmidia. Either way, we're going to keep it more <laughs> random. It actually means it's going to be more fun and more random and more challenging of the type of questions we can ask. So let's go there. We can talk about our favorite movies, our favorite foods. Yes. We Let's literally start talk with about food. anything other than acting. Yeah, we like food here. Let's start with like food. food. Only because we were discussing that, you know, we had some actors uh, earlier that are from the UK. I asked them what they miss from home when they're here. What are your favorite foods, ladies? What do you, what do you crave Gross. on a cheat day? Or My favorite growing up was always my mom's coconut chicken curry. Um, my grandpa's Thai, so she would make Ooh. that for us. So good. <laughs> she put some, like, carrots, potatoes chicken and we put a little coconut oil in the rice uh, and it makes it all aromatic and beautiful and soft and chewy on uh, jasmine rice oh so good um and then i make a lot of coconut mango sticky rice sometimes i put oreos in it to make it like cookies and cream coconut sticky rice oh should try it so good um <laughs> Any Thai food is great. Um, I could keep going on forever about this. I sometimes really love a good sandwich or a good wrap, you know? Mm. What about Nando's? Woo! No, Nando's men. fans? Aren't I think Americans go British? wild for Nando's more than, I think they're so used to it Dude, here, it's not cool. Do you guys cool. not like Greg's. Nando's? What's like, the, what's like the spot? Greg's. Besides yeah. that guy's the enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm surprised Nando's is getting more love. Yeah, Greg's for a sausage roll. That's my number one. Yes. I need to try it. Greg. Woo! Greg or Greg's? Greg. It's G R Eggs. That's what I said that to Polly and Anna the other day. A sausage roll. A sausage roll from Greg's? Yeah, how are you guys with the accent? Are you first of all are you understanding everyone's Mancunian accent? No. You, no? Oh, I'm trying. I, I'm starting to mock, but in a loving way, so I'm sorry if it offends anyone. <laughs> I'm journey. I'm learning. I'm learning. Slowly but surely. I spent the last week in Ireland, so I'm saying my R's R's sometimes. Yeah. Cassidy McC Oh, hey yeah. there. 
Yeah, there you go. I don't know. I'm learning the difference between Manchester United fans and Manchester City fans. Yeah. It's a real heated battle. It's a huge topic. One of the guys earlier was like, I'm not even going to ask because it gets very heated. Uh-oh. Hockey is crazy. Stay it's away just... from sports. Wait, what? No. Just kidding. Hockey. Soccer. Hockey. Are you guys sports fans, speaking of? Oh, sports. Do you have um, any teams you like or genres? Well, I'm a Yankees fan. But I'm from New York, so that makes yeah. sense. I like your Yankees hat, sir. Yes, you in the second <laughs> row with the Yankees hat. You're the only one with a Yankees hat on. There is a Yankees hat, yeah. He's like, I cool. didn't know, I just bought it. I just saw it. I just, I've seen other people wear it, and I thought I'd wear it as well. It's so cool you can see people in these rooms over here. Um, I don't watch sports, but I, I used to play basketball. I broke my middle finger playing basketball um, when I was like 15, and my grandpa just spent like two hours rubbing tiger balm on it, and it's still broken. Oh, um, no. But yeah. That's my so you're saying story. he didn't fix it? He didn't fix it, but he tried. And it, it was nice while well, it lasted for two hours. Grandparents, oh, they'll him. get you. Grandparents for the win. Well, ladies, we have so many different genres represented. As you can see, there's only fools and horses, there's comedy, there's action, there's Ghostbusters, Harry Potter. What is your franchise of choice? And you can pick more than one, of course, that maybe you've seen represented here in Manchester. Harry Potter. Ooh. Harry Potter. Wow. Duh. Obviously, Harry Potter. I... Uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, I do love Lord of the Rings. I mean, honestly, I really love Vikings. I was watching that during the pandemic with my family, and I see Gustav Skarsgård over there, played yeah. Loki. I was like, <gasps> no way. Yeah. Fangirling. Um, is so he related that. to all the other he Skarsgårds? Is. He is one of the Skarsgårds. There's like brothers. 70 of them. Stellan, and they're all Alexander. insanely talented actors. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I saw him, he's like kind of next to me, and every time I'm in my line, I'm like, oh, I don't know, if you guys see me, if I'm looking that way, it's because of him. I'm like, where is he? Ah. Um, but yeah, that, what else? Oh, am I allowed to talk about this? Al Avatar The Last Airbender, I love that I'll show. Be sure. Yeah, okay. It is, oh, we can talk about favorite movies, yeah. I love Avatar The Last Airbender. Anyone else, anyone else love Avatar The Last Airbender? Yes. Yes. And Dante was just here regaling us Your with boy. the tales of Avatar. I know, I yeah. was like, oh my God. I was like, hi, I acted like I knew him, but then I realized that I only know him and he doesn't know me. And that was one of those awkward experiences. <laughs> so, no, we're happy that you share that with us because we love to hear that celebrities, you guys are like kind of fangirling over, over other celebrities that you might see yeah, here. But you guys cool. do a lot of Comic Cons, right? So who else have you met that you were like, oh my gosh, I'm starstruck? Oh, honestly, for me, it wouldn't be for you because you were- It worked. was me when you met me. It was I was her. like, no way. You were so starstruck. You're like, oh, I was like, it's Alana in the flesh. <laughs> it's Alana. It's like Alana I, I broke into the Lord of the Rings photo op. Oh my God. And they were all so miserable <laughs> and did not want to be there. And I walked in and I was like, one ring to rule them all. And they all like looked at me and I was like, oh, I go fuck myself. And then oh, took a photo with them. That was pretty cool. I like Frodo Baggins. I couldn't tell if you said you, you got into their photo op or their Frodo op. I thought you were making a pun on the words. Photo, photo op. op. Get it? Photo, photo. Oh, so I just see myself out? The crowd goes mild? Fro Don't do look you, at me like you, that, Josh. Do you mean Frodo op? Yeah. I thought that's what you said, but oh, you said Frodo. photo op. See, I should have now thought of that fucking it. joke. Now we've coined the phrase. Lord of the Rings, yeah, we've had a, quite a few people from Lord of the Rings, um, quite a few people from Harry Potter as well. Are you familiar with any of the British comedies that are represented here? No, or any but Scottish I've seen comedies? some cosplays. I just don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're really cool looking. It reminds me of, uh, oh God, what's that? Fargo? Yeah. One man with like a sheep's coat. What's his name? God, it's Fargo. Del Boy. Mm -hmm. It's Fargo. Far, uh, it's Far Fargo. 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 Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, but to answer the previous question, I saw Stephen Yun one time at a convention, and that I was the fan girl. I met him once or twice. Hello. Did you say hello? How did that go? He's a lovely, lovely man. Um, oh, I did. And he was like, I love what you're doing. And I was like, I'm in love with you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, then I saw John Bernthal Walker. 
walked past me and I like ran into the bathroom and did a kickflip off the wall afterwards. <gasps> that was fun. Um, uh, what else? I like the Stranger Things stuff. You know, I'm pretty a fangirl about all of this yeah. stuff, all these people. Everyone's awesome. I love them. Except in their assholes, I don't like them. But, yeah. yeah. And oh. sometimes they are, but that's okay. Because you learn from them and then you don't be like them. Yes, yeah. you're yeah. in the right place for sure. Well, again, not to get into specifics, but in terms of the genre that you're familiar with, I have actually met a lot of your coworkers, and they're all, honestly, the entire cast is so lovely. Um, but I always like to ask them if they were into any sort of uh, post-apocalyptic zombie horror type of genre, and they usually explain that you guys don't really call it horror per se, right? It's kind of more story-based, but there is a bit of scary elements in the show that we're discussing dramas. Um, I've always liked watching dramas um, as opposed to comedy. I mean, no, the best is a dramedy when there's comedy in a drama. I feel like Steven Yeun was really good at making, and you as well. Yeah, you guys are both funny in, in the world of, yes. I'm He's not so funny. Humble. <laughs> You're not, she's serious all the time. You stop laughing at her. She's I've never made a joke <laughs> in my entire life. <laughs> it's just her personality. Um, yeah, I love you. <laughs> so, dramedy is your genre? Um, I like dramedy. I like, I just like real human stories that people can connect to, I guess. And that's the baseline of, of things. I, I don't like, like sci-fi fantasy. Oh. oh, yeah. So, I guess, I, I like, don't even want to get in trouble saying where it, the show that I once was near <laughs> is, I would uh, say, that genre. Are you a Star Wars fan? Fuck yeah, I'm a Star Wars fan. Yes, lots of Star Wars fans Woo! here. You know there is an Duh. exact replica of the cantina bar upstairs, right, ladies? <gasps> I'll get on a Millennium Falcon any day of the week. Yeah. Who's coming with me? Yeah. That's oh my god, my god. I, I literally set you up for the best. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Delayed reaction, but it's I so set you up for the best joke, and you <laughs> missed it. We'll be happy to show you the Cantina Bar later. That is the official site of the after party tonight, so make sure you guys get up there. But in terms of other movies, what were movies that inspired you guys to perhaps get into the world of entertainment or get into acting? Any actors or particular films that gave you the acting bug, if you will? A lot. Um, Waterworld? Kevin Costner. No, I was kidding. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's a pile of shit movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I actually liked it. Oh, what? So you're serious? <laughs> Waterworld. Um, I don't know. My whole family was acting, so I just sort of fell into it. How about you? I fell into it. Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know if anyone here... I'm really into, like, indie movies like Fish Tank and Short Term 12, um, American like Short Honey. Short Term 12. Oh, Short Term American 12. American Honey was good. So good. Those are my favorite kind of films. Um... Oh, fuck, I can't. Oh, like a real sad girl film. Oh, yeah, very sad girl. Like a real, much like, like my music. <laughs> yeah, my like, life is hard. Life sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I like those still sad beautiful. films. Me too. Um, I think I, like, connected with that. I was like, oh, you can just show the dark parts of life without being too sad, I guess. Um, so that stuff, like, yeah. I was like, it's a good uh, way to express Has anyone it. seen Oppenheimer? <gasps> I haven't yet. Was oh. it good? Did anybody oh. see Barbie? Did and there was a third do... one. Oh, Mission Impossible? Oh, really? Oh. Those are the three that just came out, right? Right? Who did Am the Barbenheimer? Who did see, see, saw both in one day? Yeah? No, no one did it? What? <gasps> Didn't see what? No one? Oh, you did it. Oh, Bar saw you both. saw Barbenheimer? Yeah. Which one did you go first? Yeah, you can't yeah. fucking go yeah, Barbie job. than Oppenheimer. <laughs> it's just like happiness to depression and death and atomic bombs. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. I gotta see Oppenheimer. Yeah. Oppenheimer. Yeah. Are you fans of Mission Impossible? Talk about a franchise that's lived on and on and on. I it's love awesome. action movies. Yeah. I'll see any action movie. John Wick, Fast and the Furious 47, yep. 47. fucking Top Gun 78. Like, yeah. I will, you put action movie, I'm watching it. I'm in. But Waterworld, that's where you draw the line. I mean, when it touches it's water, a you're like, no. Nope. <laughs> it's a disaster of a film, but I liked it. There's a water world ride at uh, Universal Studios, yeah, and it's like a live thing where people fly off the cannons, and there's water, hence water world, 
And my daughter, I took her to go and see it, and we had to go back four more times that day. Because wow. she really cared about, what's his name? Skip, Skipper? What's, what's Skip. the guy's name in Waterworld? I'll give somebody That's how many people haven't dollars. seen it. I think that's why. Yeah. All right. He's Googling it. Well, if you have any questions it. about Waterworld, we're going to have you line up. Just kidding. If you guys have a question, we have a few minutes to uh, hear from you guys. There's a microphone right there. Don't be shy. We have time for just a few before we let them get back to the autograph and photo area. And again, let's make these questions as random as possible. I know you guys have some random questions. Step on up, sir, again. We're going to try to not be specific Woo! about certain titles or role names, but you go ahead. Hi, right, Kasti. Hi. Uh, do you like dancing? Do I like dancing? Should I? Yeah. I love it. I love dancing. Um, <laughs> I'm not great at it. I don't really have much rhythm, but I think it gets the world. It makes the world more beautiful. Um, definitely dance away all my nerves. When I'm working especially, it Dancing and singing, like just singing to myself or doing a dance across the room. That's how I stay alive and stay awake, I think. Do you like dancing, Tara? Uh, not Tara. I mean, ah, oh no, I said a lot. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, <laughs> dancing, yes. I like to dance. I'm like, uh, the, the movie Billy Elliot is after me. Yes. It's baby alive. They, they wrote Billy Elliot after they saw me dance. Hi, what's your name? Kobe. Hi. Hi. Um, what was your favorite actor that you've ever worked with? Oh, Ooh. that's a good one. I would say wisely. one time in my dreams, I worked with an actor named Steven. He was my favorite person in my dreams that I w was with. Huh? We love a bit of mystery. I hope, I hope you understand my cryptic statement. She's talking with her eyes right to you. I could see that. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. What are your guys' favorite chocolates? <gasps> oh, fun question. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, obviously I had a Cadbury cream egg before from Dan. Dan the man. Um, and then I like, I love Heath bars. Like I love toffee. I love oh, cardamom and chocolate, so good. I love Cadbury chocolate. I love milk chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, you, so you like chocolate? I just like chocolate. Okay. <laughs> uh, I chocolate. don't like chocolate. No! 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 I like a Snickers ice cream bar. Oh, good. Oh, uh, do you guys have those over here? Yeah, we do. So fucking good. A Snickers What's ice cream yours? bar. I say a Hershey's cookies and cream. That's actually really good. You know, that's an underrated bar, I think. I would never. <laughs> you don't like chocolate. I don't like chocolate. That makes me very sad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm like Santa Claus, here to ruin your dreams. <laughs> <No>. The Grinch. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye to you. <laughs> Bye. Talk later. Hello. Hi. Um, oh I am a massive fan of Walking Dead. I watch it over never and heard over of it. again. Uh, many of the... Uh, the Walking living thing, uh, that one. Uh, I, have yeah. a I have a question for you. Um, yeah, shoot. Uh, Steven, and you was my favorite like duo in The Walking Dead. My he's, neighbor, yes. And he's also my favorite, like in that. Yeah, the, favorite the neighbor thing. that does a job like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd ask because obviously your character died, and I was fuming. You don't have to <laughs> remind me that my I, character died. I, I know my head got chopped off. <laughs> yeah, I was absolutely fuming. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Yeah, to some people. I'm um, dead! <laughs> they should have watched it already. It's been years. But um, if you had to go out in another way or stay living, how would it, you would die differently? Or if you had kept on, how would you have done it at the end? Uh, um, I think going out the way that I went out on the town was cool and interesting because right. I feel like that's the only... Thing that will ever be that, right? Like I, yeah. I don't, I didn't watch the show, uh, the, the thing after, but I don't think anybody else had as unique of a storyline. Yeah. Uh, I think that maybe it was a little abrupt, but that's okay. Uh. See, it's my guy. I paid him every 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 time he shouts, I I pay him. 
<laughs> all right, well, thank you very much. You're so thank welcome. You. The show's my favourite show of all time, and I appreciate both it's of you being It's pretty here. great. You were thank both you. amazing at it, and I appreciate it very oh, much. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Round of applause to you, Alana. You look real good for a dead girl. You look good. Thanks, guys. I'm not real. I'm an <laughs> AI version of myself. Hologram. Just turn the button off in the back of my neck, and I'll just... Nando's, by the way, so I got you. You're a big fan of Nando's? Yeah. It's oh, fucking it's delicious. It's the best restaurant. Peri Peri sauce? Oh, yeah. Yes. Definitely. Spicy um, Peri Peri sauce? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, my question is um, for fans of the um, Walking on Alive, um, um, what TV shows would you recommend that I could watch next? <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Yellow Jackets on Showtime. Am I allowed to do that? That show's so good. Woo! I love it. I love Melanie Linsky. I think she's a wonderful human. Um, and I've been liking watching The Crowded Room, actually, on Apple with, with Tom Holland and Sasha Lane. Good stuff. I watch a lot of kids' TV. Oh, and then just saved. There's, like, a lot of Blippy and, like, some Peppa Pig and shit. So I don't recommend anything, only because I watch TV with my kid. It's fine, I still watch Bluey. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hiya. Um, Hiya. Hiya, I'm Jen. Um, hey, Jen. Hi. <laughs> um, I was wondering, um, who were your heroes growing up? Like, oh. who, uh, who were your inspirations growing up? Um, in the same field that I'm in, or just in general? Just in general. Barry Pepper, yeah. who's the sniper in Saving Private Ryan. Oh, yeah. Uh, we Sing Sillyville, the cast of We Sing Sillyville. I don't think I've heard of that one. It's probably a good thing. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's about it. How about you? Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, favorite actors. I really, really loved Tom Hardy when I was like 12, 14. I still do. Um, yeah. I just like his, his go-getter stuff that he does and he's really attractive and talented. Um, also, <laughs> Alicia Vikander as an actor. Um, as a person, my mom, <laughs> I think she's like just the strongest person and she's so smart. That's so sweet. Yeah. I love my mom. I hope my kid says that about me. She will. <laughs> she's like, my mom fucked me up. <laughs> my mom was an actor. And now I have mental issues. Well, you two are two of my favourites from The Walking Dead. Say that again? You two are two of my favourites from The Walking Dead. So you're just saying that because I'm sitting up here. Yeah. You're fucking lying. No, I'm not. I know seriously. I'm not Daryl. <laughs> I know I don't have arms like him. I'm just kidding. Thank you for saying that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye. Just so you know, okay. okay, just for time's sake, we're going to cut things off at the sheriff back there. So no more questions after him. Thank you, guys. Hello, hello. Hi, hey, hi. Uh, hey, I like I'm your shoes. I'm loving these questions, Thanks. actually. Like Thanks. Um, big fan of The Talking Bed. Uh, it's a great, oh, great good. show. <laughs> Thank um, you. Love both your roles in that. Uh, I was just wondering, Beard. when you're not acting uh, and you may be at a bar or a club, what is your go-to karaoke song? <gasps> That's a great Ooh. fucking question, oh. sir. Queen Bohemian yes. Rhapsody. Yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. I see it across the I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to embarrass myself and I'm sober, but that would be it. Oh How about you? Oh, man, that's so hard. You it's can only so pick hard. one. Oh, God. I always regretfully, I always pick House of the Rising Sun and then I regret it because it's way too low for yeah. me. It's also so slow. Slow and sad. And everybody in a bar is like, <laughs> it's so Debbie Downer. Uh, yeah. I'm a sad. Girl. You gotta do like a like a <laughs> like something where everybody jumps in and sings. Sweet Caroline. Oh yeah, that's a perfect one. That's yeah. it. What's yeah. your song? Um, um, I think Shine by Take That. You need to look, take that shine. How get it on your playlist. Sing a little. Sing a little. Uh, you, you're such a big star to me. You're everything I wanna be, but you're stuck in a hole. And I want you to get out, out, out. And that's enough. Uh, you have to pay I'm, me for the rest. So. I love oh, you. God. Yes. you. I love you guys very much. Stage. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Owen. A yes, round of nice applause for Owen, everyone. Yay. Thank you so much. I love both of you. Amazing. Thank you. You're Thank Owen, great singing voice. Thank You're a natural you. soprano. Yes. We love you. Woo. Hello. I love Hi. it. I love your cherry love. <laughs> 
I love both of your vibes. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> um, so random question. If James Bond, John Wick, and Dom Toretto were in a fist fight, who would win in your opinion? John Wick. I agree. <laughs> It depends on Dom, the James Dom, Bond. Dom is the one from um, Fast and Furious. Yeah. He's too, like, oily. <laughs> I feel like he, like, lathers himself up in, like, baby oil like to, like, like, be super buff. And John Wick is just, like, demented. That's who I think would win. Yeah. John Honestly, Wick? I, I'm going to embarrass myself. I haven't seen the Fast and Furious or John Wick. But They're fine. I think if Tom Hardy was James Bond... She's in love with Tom Hardy. If you yeah, tell. I would say Tom Hardy and James Bond. <laughs> yeah. But he's not. Guys, somebody get her a meeting with Tom so Hardy. Please. I don't know what to do hey, with myself anymore. Hey there, <laughs> Tom Hardy. Tommy. Well, Tommy. Great question. That was a fun so, question. Great. Thank Actually, you. I say John Wick as well because I like Connie Reeves also. Yes. Okay. Hi. Um, Hi where yes. is your favorite place to go? <gasps> Japan. 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 Why? That was a that was a that was a that fist was, bump. Not a, a, I need a hug. You clawed me. <laughs> this is so pretty. She Whoa. she clawed me. Why? I'm a hugger I'm of all sorts. Yes. The food, the culture, um, yes, the, the people. Uh, yeah. My daughter's Japanese. Uh, yeah. How about you? Oh God, no. I I would say the same. Japan. Because aren't you? But I'm a quarter yeah. Japanese. Well, not Japanese. I'm a quarter Chinese. Oh, you're a quarter Chinese. Thai. That's why I'm changing my last name to Zheng. Slowly but surely. I just added it, but I'm changing it to my grandpa's name. Um, that's awesome. But yeah, I'm happy about it. Woo! It's going to take a while, Yay, though, but we're starting cool. the journey. Woohoo! The um, name changes and identity changes. Uh, yes. My Thank you. Identity. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. And if you're following Cassidy or Alana on Instagram, you might get some of these tidbits. So make sure that you're following the ladies on social oh, media. Yes. So you know. If you want unfollow to, me. I post lots of <laughs> pictures. All of you, songs. unfollow me. Do it right now. Do it. Fuck Oh, Hello, sir. <laughs> Sorry, that got That's mad. okay. So, just it's completely random, but since your time on The Walking Dead, how would that affect you as like a person if the apocalypse were to start tomorrow? Would you be similar to your character, or would you be completely different? I couldn't hear that. Oh, oh I, I can answer it for you. Um, would you be ready for an apocalypse from your experience on the show? There are a few things, like um, season four when Eugene lit the gum wrapper with the battery and started a spark. Didn't know you could do that, so I have that tool. Uh, didn't know that you could put a coat hanger and bend it into a stove to put a pot on it, so I could do that. Didn't know my head could become <laughs> detached from my body. So, yeah, I like your stupid mask. Uh, so yeah, I feel prepared. How about you? Ah! Um, she would be dancing and singing. I would be dancing and singing in the afterlife because I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, I don't know. I, I, am I a fighter? I kind of would just really give up. I don't know. It's horrible. She would make it. No, I'd make it. I'd just like find someone who had a bunker. Oh, anyone lost The Last of Us? That's what I would have said. I would say watch The Last of Us, oh, you know? The last yeah, of if you us. like Walking Dead, definitely watch The Last of Us. Um... Yeah, I would find it. myself a Ron Swanson. Yeah. Oh, Woo! Oh, thank you. Oh, thank I you don't know if anyone would get that reference. I mean, you must. You simply oh. must. Yes. In, oh. You got to come a little bit closer. Oh, precious <laughs> little bean. No. In your free time, what is your favorite thing to do? <gasps> Cook. Yeah. Eat. <laughs> Cook and eat. Yeah. That's why you're friends, right? One of you cooks and one of you eats. That's perfect. We, we both cook, we both eat. I love cooking. <laughs> both both. It's like um, um, yeah, therapy. Eat. I love to go into nature. I love different like hikes and walks in the woods. It's funny. I just ran into... I don't like hikes or walks in the woods. <laughs> I barely like walking up the stairs in the morning, mm -hmm. so that's rough. For that's me, rough. I like green things, you know? I just love seeing green. Um... Making music sometimes, like singing on the piano. And what the instrument keyboards. do you play? Um, I am shit at both of them, but I play piano and guitar sometimes. Oh, that's awesome. Like, yeah. And I'm embarrassed that I just said that. My face feels random. Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> just keep practicing, and then you'll be really yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> it's so easy. Just do it. 10,000 hours. Very fun question. Oh, Thank good you. question. See you later. And Call final me. question from the man of the law. Right uh -oh. here. We're in trouble. I did not do it, Coral. <laughs> 
Did not hit her. Um, I did not. Um, I was just wondering if you knew that, uh, you know, your death or with all the heads on the spike. Say Sorry. that one more time. No, your death with all the heads on the spike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Reminding me again that I'm <laughs> dead. Yeah, sorry. Cool. But uh, the first initial of all the names of the heads on the spikes. Did I think that my name would be pulled out of a hat? No, no I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. Start over. Um, it spells out art of death on all of the, on the spikes. I've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> the heads. Yeah. The character's name on the head, the first initial from the first name, so it's A R T O F, spells out art. I of don't death. fucking know these things. That's amazing. What? Art, art, what? Art, art, art of death. I was just wondering if you knew. Art of death. Yeah. Where did you figure that out? Where in I think the I've fuck heard did you say figure that, that out? That's you amazing. Like, well, I'm my death was an out. art, so yes. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I found you annoying in the last season, but whatever. Say that last part? I found you really annoying in the last season. You found who annoying? Tara. Oh, that's weird. I'm, I'm that you sorry, came but, uh, up here to tell me that. <laughs> Do you want me to come to your house and tell you you're annoying? No, I get told that too much already. You're not annoying. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's You're a welcome. very interesting Thank fact. You. you know, sometimes the fans will like find things like that that are so obscure, and it's That's fun amazing. to share. Our art of art of yeah, artful death or art, art, art of, of death. death. That's a good fact. Art and, of yeah. And thanks for the nightmares. That's a weird way to close it, ladies. Art, any art final death. words for your fans that are adoring you here in Manchester before we let you get back to the celebrity area? Uh, ta ta. <laughs> ta oh wait. Oh, you ta -ta. said something. Oh, ta ta. Bye bye. Tatas? What? Au revoir. <laughs> au revoir. Um, thank you all. I hope you have a fantastic thank you guys. weekend. Um, to my guy. Great. It's my guy. Woo! Especially this section here. Yes. Thank you guys. Give it up one more time for Alana and Cassidy.